Hello friends, this video on body movements part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now the question is how do organisms move or they look, they undergo locomotion? So they need some specific body parts which are capable of movement. So the question is are the organs for locomotion different from the organs of movement? Because uh, what exactly happens when we try to undergo locomotion? So what we are doing is basically as I said that locomotion is like movement but it is just that the movement happens in such a way that the organism changes its position from one place to another. So it is not really necessary that the organs of movement and locomotion need to be different. So they can be the same organs, but sometimes the way they move, the way they undergo movement, it results in locomotion. So locomotory organs need not be different from those affecting movements. So let us say when you consider legs, so the legs can move, it can also, the fingers can also move. So when only the fingers are moving, the person is not moving from one place to another. So that's movement. But when the legs move the way it does during walking, what happens? The person overall moves from one place to another so that's locomotion so the same uh, organs can act as uh, an organ for movement or locomotion so think of small organisms like paramecium so it is a tiny organism which have different organs for its movement from one place to another now the question is how can animals move? How do different animals move from one place to another or even they move their different body parts? Let's think of human beings. We can walk, we can run, we can jump and we can do all of these with the help of our limbs that is our legs and hands. So they help us moving from one place to another. Think of uh, a tiger or a cheetah. How do they move? They run how do they run again with the help of their limbs think of a frog what kind of movement do you see in a frog i mean how do they move from one place to another they tend to jump so again for jumping also their legs and their hands they help that is their limbs help a bird flies and with the help of its wings fishes they live in water so they need to move through water so they swim in water and in swimming they're fins, their tail, their uh, so all these parts together help in the process of swimming. Some organisms even crawl. So one such example is a, little, a small baby. So even before a baby learns how to walk, how it moves from one place to another by crawling. So crawling is another act of moving uh, on hands and knees like how you see here. This baby tends to move from one place to another on knees and with the help of hands. Think of uh, an organism like a lizard. So the wall lizard, how do they move? They creep, that is they uh, kind of you know climb the wall. So that's how they move. So that, that kind of movement is called creeping. Think of a snake. The movement again is quite different from other animals. So this movement of snake is often termed as slither. So this movement is about sliding or by twisting or waving the body on a surface. So when if you have ever seen a snake moving, it doesn't move in a straight line. So it keeps waving its body like this, like a wave, like this. So that's how it moves on the ground. So this type of movement is called slither. So different animals have different kind of movements. Some, some can run, some can walk, some jump, fly, swim, crawl, trip or slither. So it depends on the structure of the organism and its adaptation and based on that different animals move in different ways. Now if you think of plants, so even plants do move. However, we do not see them moving from one place to another. That is locomotion is not really seen in plants but plant parts exhibit movements. Now there are many such example of plants where you can actually observe the movements. So one such example is the touch me not plant. So in touch me not, as soon as you touch the leaves of the plant, the leaves tend to, you know, as if they are feeling shy as you touch them. So the leaves tend to uh, kind of crawl. So they tend to move and they tend to close. So that's an example of a movement in plant. Again, you think of insectivorous plants like the pitcher plant. So this is the pitcher plant. 
not very commonly seen everywhere but these plants they eat insects so they have leaves which are modified in the shape of pitchers so this is how a pitcher look like and it has a lead so this is the lead of the pitcher so as soon as an insect comes nearby the insect is trapped into the pitcher and the lead is closed and then the insect is eaten and digested within the plant so here also you see the closing and opening of the lead that that's also a movement in plant so in that way we can say that parts of the plant thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again